All right, and we back. I've done a couple of these this season. Um, we're just going to talk and ramble about some college football stuff. Um, nothing too crazy. I don't really want to talk about a lot of the games. I kind of want to talk about the college football playoff. The rankings are about to come out uh, tomorrow or today, depending on when the video is posted. And, yeah, there's a lot of lot of controversy, a lot of things going around. It's going to be interesting to see what the committee does. I think the committee is going to have the 12 teams that are currently in the AP Top 12 in a different order. Um and yeah, so we're going to talk about my college football predictions or my college football playoff predictions. To me, the number one team in the country has been Oregon. They've shown it time and time again. Obviously, I think they're going to go undefeated. Dylan Gabriel, Tess Johnson, uh, Evan Stewart, Jabbar Muhammad, uh, Josh Connerly. I mean, this team's loaded. To me, can they avoid a letdown? They do have, I'm looking at the schedule right now, they play Maryland this weekend. Then they go to Wisconsin. They have a bye, and then they host Oregon, not, or excuse me, Washington. None of those games are going to be particularly easy, um, but they should handily win all of those and then probably take on Ohio State again in a Big Ten championship. Again, I, I think they win that. I think they go undefeated. They're going to be the one seed to me. And again, these rankings are going to be how I think the playoff is going to be formatted. So there's going to be teams at specifically three and four that I don't think are the third and the fourth best, third and the fourth best teams in the country, but it's just, you know, how the, the playoff is going to work. At number two, I think it's going to be Georgia, you know? They're seven and one right now. They still have. Uh, I mean, obviously this team is loaded, right? Malachi Starks, Tate Ratledge, Carson Beck, Michael Williams, Dylan Fairchild. To me, it's can the, the question that I have is can the defense hold up against you know good teams? Can the defense be more consistent on that side against great teams? Obviously this week you play Ole Miss. That's the game of the week to me. Then next week you play Tennessee. That's again another game like you you play back to back super high level tough games. You then host UMass and you host Georgia Tech. You know, UMass, you're in a dog walk. And then Georgia Tech is not going to be a pushover. Um, I still think you go undefeated down the stretch. but And then you win the SEC. So I, th I still think Georgia is going to be a two seed. But again, the defense to me is the bigger question mark. At three, I have Miami, right? I don't think Miami is the third best team in the country necessarily. Um, but if you aren't familiar, the top four seeds are the top four ranked conference champions. Now, theoretically, that's going to be the Big Ten, the ACC, the SEC, and the Big 12, not necessarily in that order. Um, and in this ranking, they are. There is one team, objectively, Boise State does have a chance to kind of sneak in if, if one of these conferences fall out. And for the ACC and the Big 12, it's pretty much can Miami and uh, the team I'll name next not fuck up. Miami, again, they finished their season. Miami plays Georgia Tech this week on the road in Georgia Tech right in Atlanta. You have bye, and then you host Wake Forest, and then go to Syracuse. None of those are going to be, you know, walk over games. You know, Georgia Tech's good. You're playing on their field. Wake Forest is good, and then you host, or you go to Syracuse, and they're a good team. But at the end of the day, I think Miami goes undefeated, and they win the ACC. Do I think they should be higher than a one-loss, you know, SEC champ? If they go undefeated the way they're playing, yes. But I don't think it's going to happen, and I think the SEC is going to get you know, they're going to get the two seed unless the SEC is won by a two loss or not, essentially not a one loss team. But again, Miami, I think they go undefeated. You know, you have Cam Ward, you have Davey Martinez, you have Ruben Bain, you have Xavier Restrepo. Can they avoid a letdown? That's the big question for this Miami team because they have played with fire the last month. And then at the number four seed, I think it's going to be BYU, right? They're 8 0 now. They play not necessarily a tough schedule. Um, this week they play Utah in the Holy War, but they have to go to Salt Lake City, so it's not going to be easy. Next week, you play Kansas. You're going to dog walk Kansas as much as it pains me to say that out loud. You then go to Arizona State. Again, not going to be an easy game. And then you host Houston. You should dog walk Houston. So two of your four games, you should run over those teams. Um, but the other two are not going to be easy. I, you know, Even with that being said, I think you go 12-0. and I think you win the Big 12. I think you go undefeated. Again, do I think this BYU team, if they go undefeated, should be a the three seed instead of a one-loss SEC champion? Maybe. It's not going to happen, but that's a different conversation. But I think, you know, I'm going to make a hot take on this BYU team. You you start off in the quarterfinals, and they're going to play, you know, based on this, they, they'll play, a, a, you know, I don't know if it has to be Ohio State or if it would be Tennessee or whoever it would be. I think they're going to make the semifinals. I think they're going to beat whoever comes out of that first-round matchup. And to me, again, same question, can you avoid a letdown? Because I think you can go undefeated, but you have to play top-tier football. The five seed, the first team to host a playoff is going to be Ohio State. Now, to me, they're 7-1 and one right now. I think they go undefeated, right? You play Purdue this weekend, you should dog walk Purdue. You play Northwestern next week, you should run through Northwestern. You then host Indiana. We'll see how I feel about that game when I get to it. You, that's, the, that's a great team. That's going to be a, a tough game. And then you host uh, Michigan in the game. Michigan's a good team, but you should beat Michigan. So really, you have two tune-ups before you play a really tough game and then a team that you should beat, but you can't walk into thinking you can beat. But, I mean, the talent on this team is unreal. Like, I'm just going to read off. I wrote down a bunch of notes. That's why if you see me keep looking over here. But, I mean, this team, Quinchon Judkins, Caleb Downs, Jack Sawyer, Travion Henderson, Emeka Ibuka, Donovan Jackson, Tyleek Williams, Josh Simmons, Jeremiah Smith, Denzel Burke. I could continue to go. I didn't even mention the quarterback or another cornerback that I've continued to mention. To me, the, the question is, you know, it's up. The defense can be 
inconsistent. And like I think the Indiana game is going to be a huge test. And can the defense be consistent against great teams? That's going to be the one to me. But again, I think Ohio State finishes the regular season undefeated. I think they go 11-1, and and I think they get that five seed. In this sixth spot, I think it's Texas. Again, I, I don't necessarily think that Texas is the sixth best team in the country in terms of maybe they should be higher. But, you know, you're 7-1. I think they go in to feed the rest of the stretch. You play Florida this week. That's not going to be, you know, you can't look past Florida. Next week, you go to Arkansas. Again, another team you cannot look past. You then come back, you play Kentucky. You're going to dog walk Kentucky. You're, you're objectively going to roll them. But then the final game of the season, rivalry week, your first time playing Texas A&M in like 15 years, you have to go to Kyle Field. I think you win that game, but I think it's not, like that's going to be a tough ass game. So I think, again, I think Texas goes undefeated. I think you go 11 and 1. I mean, this team offensively, Kelvin Banks, Isaiah Bond, Quinn Ewers, defensively led by Jade Barron in the secondary. To me, the defense has been the question mark. Obviously, offensively dealt with some injuries to the quarterback position, so it's led to some rust and some inconsistencies. But I think the defense needs to be more consistent against great teams. And you're going to see that against Texas A&M. At seven, I have Penn State. Listen, I know they just lost to Ohio State, but the schedule isn't exactly a bunch of world beaters down the stretch. You host Washington this week, and Washington's good, but you should beat Washington. You then go to Purdue the following week. You should run through Purdue. You come back, and they, excuse me, then you go to Minnesota, and that's not going to be an easy game, but you should win that one. And then you come back and host Maryland again. Not necessarily an easy game, but a game you should win. So I think they go 11-1. Um, because of the way the Big Ten is, technically you might sneak up because... Either Oregon or Ohio State will. Ohio State will have two losses. Or Oregon will have one, but Ohio State will have beaten you. I, I don't, you know, I don't know how it would work. Um, but I think they they finish at seven, get to host a playoff game. Obviously, this team led by Abdul Carter, Tyler Warren, Drew Aller, Nick Singleton, Kevin Winston. There's pieces everywhere. Um, I think the question that we that I have is, can the defense be more consistent against playoff teams? You won't see it in this schedule, at least down the stretch. You know, you've seen it against Ohio State. You held them to 20 points. But Ohio State, again, you know, not to throw some shade at Ohio State. It's not like they've been world beaters offensively as of late. You saw it against Illinois. I mean, again, you just have to continue to see it against high level talent and see if they can get over that hump. At eight, I think I have Tennessee. Right now, Tennessee, I believe, is seven. I think they, you know, they play Mississippi State this week. They're going to run through Mississippi State. You then go to Georgia next week. I think you lose that game. But then you come back and you play UTEP. You're going to kill UTEP. And then you go to Vanderbilt. Vanderbilt's going to be a tough game. I think you win that game, but it's going to be tough. Um, I think this team finishes 10-2. and two. Obviously, James Pierce leads that defense. You have Dylan Sampson and Cooper Mays on the offensive line. To me, can the defense be more consistent against good teams? Georgia is going to be a super big test, but Vanderbilt's going to be an underrated game, right? Like, if you're Tennessee, you cannot look past that game. It's a rivalry game. You have to go to Nashville. Again, I think this team goes 10-2, and two, finishes at 8, and you're the last team to host a playoff game. But at the end of the day, you know, th- things could change. At number nine, I have Indiana. This has been an incredible story. I think, unfortunately, I think they go 11-1. and one. You play Michigan this week. Um, I think you beat Michigan, and they're a good team, so you really can't look past them. But then you have a bye, and then you go to Ohio State. We'll see how I feel about that game when we get closer to it. Right now, I'm thinking they're going to lose that game, Indiana, that is. And then you go to you go to Purdue to end your season. You will destroy Purdue. Like, you again, Purdue fucking sucks. So you go 11-1. and one. Um, I still think, like, they're going to be, you know, this puts them at the nine seed. They're going to take on Tennessee based on this projection. I think they can beat Tennessee. I think they win their first-round playoff game. That's my, like, hot take for Indiana. At 10, I have Notre Dame. Right now, this is a team that's 7-1. They have four games left in their season. This week, they host Florida State. They're going to fucking annihilate Florida State. They play Virginia next week. Virginia is not a bad, like, Virginia is a good team. Like, you have to be ready to go against Virginia. Then you host number 18, Army. I don't know how I'll feel about that game when we get closer to it. I think Notre Dame will win that game right now. And you go to USC, USC, you'll kill. So two of your games are going to be easy. One of them is going to be good. Like, you know, you can't look past. And the other one's going to be tough. I still think this team goes 11-1. Defensively, obviously, they're loaded. Xavier Watts, Benjamin Morrison, Howard Cross. Um, the question to me is, can the offense be more consistent against good teams? Army is going to be a big uh, indicator for me on how good this Notre Dame team really is. But yeah, I think they finish at 10. You know, that I put them against Penn State. That's going to be a hell of a game. At 11, I have Alabama. Right now, this team is 11th in the AP poll. Uh, I just don't see the verticality in terms of how this team moves up if other teams take care of business. I know you can, I mean, this week you play LSU at LSU, and that's your toughest test yet. I think they win this game. It's not going to be easy. You then come back, and I'm not going to sit here and say they're going to beat this team or, like, lose to this team. But you host a Mercer team that is great at the FCS level. And again, I'm not sitting here saying that Alabama is going to lose to an FCS team. Like, let me make that very clear. But you can't look past that game. You then go, you host Oklahoma, or you, excuse me, you go to Oklahoma. Again, another team you just can't look past. And then you host Auburn. And you're, they're going to fucking annihilate Auburn. So to me, I think they go undefeated. They finish season 10 and 2. I mean, again, this is a team I worked on a bunch of names because I, you know, didn't want to forget anybody. Parker Brailsford, Safety Malachi Moore, Jalen Milrow, obviously. 
On the offensive line, again, alone, I already mentioned Parker Brailsford, but Tyler Booker, Jaden Roberts, Caden Proctor, Ryan Williams is incredible. You have Deontay Lawson on defense. To me, the question is the defense, right? Can it be more consistent against good teams? You have LSU up. LSU, this weekend is going to be a huge indicator of how good your team really is. I think they go 10-2 and and sneak into the playoffs at the, at the 11 seed, um, which, you know, once you're in, anything can happen. But I think this Alabama team is the only two-loss team that makes the playoffs. And then finally, Boise State. Listen, even if there wasn't a group of five auto bid, I still think Boise State would end up making the playoffs. They'd sneak in at 12. Um, I think they're going to go undefeated, right? Like, they have four games left. This weekend, they host Nevada. They're going to kill Nevada. They then go to San Jose State. Again, you're going to beat this team, I think, if you show up and take care of business. But you can't look past San Jose State. You then go to Wyoming. You're going to kill Wyoming. And then your final game of the season is at, or, or, excuse me, at home against Oregon State. Again, another team that's good. You can't look past them. If you do, you're going to be in trouble. However, I think they go undefeated. I think they go 11 and 1. Obviously, Ash and JT is incredible. The, you know, are, you know, he probably, I think he's, you know, I think he should win the Heisman, either him or Travis Hunter. Um, to me, the question is can this team be more consistent, specifically defensively, against good teams and playoff teams in that, right? We, you're not going to see a playoff team down the stretch or really even a great team. So it's just you have to continue to blow teams out. And you're going to get the group of five auto bid, assuming you don't completely sell um and assuming that our name meets army then that really eliminates every other contender but yeah that's how i think the playoff is going to break out you're going to see the actual bracket uh again either tonight or tomorrow depending on when i post this um yeah just wanted to do this wanted to talk a little bit about the college football playoff and uh yeah if you enjoyed this make sure to leave comments down below make sure you, you know tell me what you guys want to see next and uh like and subscribe and youtube thinks you're gonna like this video find out if they're right